Good evening, everyone. I'm Adrian Ochoa with your look at sports. The high school football season set to kick off October 2nd. And today, El Paso teams return to practice the first day back since June when practices were suspended. But now it's full speed ahead toward the start of the season. And so to be able to get out here, get the kids in person, be able to see them. We've only seen them three times, I mean, really in person. And that was during the summer since March 13th. So to be able to get them in person, be able to actually start our season, uh, it feels really good. Once again, every player and coach had to have their temperature checked before entering the stadium. Players also wore their masks while working out. The Eastwood Troopers know the drill. They first tried to have in-person practices back in June, but workouts were then suspended that same month. A city order then called for all sports to be pushed back until after September 7th. So here we are. All schools allowing student athletes to return to campus for practices, not just football, but also other sports, including volleyball and cross country. Uh, to have a season just taken from you is is tough. It's tough on kids. It's tough on teenage kids to handle. And I'm just glad and, and so happy to be able to see all of our groups start to get them on campus, to get our great coaches finally to be hands on with them and, and obviously be able to make that impact that they, they make as a coach um, on a daily basis. You know, we just can't be happier for all of our kids uh, here at Eastwood High School. Well, I too, just like everyone else who was at today's practice, had to get their temperature checked. And if you were cleared, you were given this yellow wristband. And I should also mention that out of the El Paso's three largest school districts, the Isleta School District is the only one that allowed media to attend an open practice. El Paso and Socorro ISD have told us that media will not be allowed at any practices. ABC 7's Shelby Montgomery spoke with the athletic director for EPISD. She'll have that report tonight at 10.